etched on buried rocks. I have a ton of good memories in these parts, in the Wasatch. I, this is where I first started ski touring, probably more than a decade ago. Always nice to come up here with friends and they would teach you about the snow, they would teach you where to go, it was like a mentorship. That's really awesome. So coming back here, just, it's incredible, the terrain and the access. It's just like, it's like Disneyland, it's amazing. paradise because the access is so easy and the snow is so good and the terrain is so good i don't i don't know where else in the world you can enjoy the comforts of a pretty large city next to an alpine wilderness like the wasatch it's it's really special backcountry skiing has seen a boom in the last two years by November of 2020, backcountry ski sales were up 81% and backcountry snowboard sales were up 150%. Salt Lake City is becoming an epicenter for backcountry skiing. Brands like DPS, Volley, Forefront, Black Diamond have all made their headquarters in the Salt Lake Valley. The Cottonwood Canyons offer access to prime backcountry skiing that most of the time is free of snowmobilers. They even have a map of hundreds of names for runs that are not in resorts. But there is a downside to all of this. Popularity of the place has caused overcrowding of the canyons, and now resorts are restricting parking and have plans to expand in places like Grizzly Gulch, which will close access to legendary backcountry spots like Wolverine Cirque. I think I can do this. I'm definitely nervous when I look at a steep run and it's my first time going down it, for sure. Ready? And go. Man, such a rush. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Woo you can still find magic in the Wasatch, even with all its overcrowding, parking issues, and expansion plans. The Wasatch is only crowded in a few locations. I mean, if you're willing to walk more than a mile from the road, then you should have no problem finding solitude. I don't know, five or six spots to get most of the traffic. But even on the most crowded days, it's it's easy to find solitude and good skiing. Even with low tide conditions, getting back into the Wasatch reminds me just how magical this place really is. Made it to the top of Superior. Gorgeous views. Good to be up here again. Here, with ambition and drive, a skier can experience some of the greatest snow on Earth while exploring a canvas of endless discovery. My best days skiing have been in these mountains. Here in the Wasatch is the place that inspired me to design the type of life I have. One where I constantly look forward to the time of year when the snow falls, waking up and getting out before dawn, all for the taste of that sweet nectar that is powder skiing. <laughs>